In this video, we're going to be measuring the lift angle of a Seiko 5719A one-button chronograph movement from 1964. We start by taking a time grapher measurement at the default lift angle of 52 degrees. We want to capture the balance at its two turning points, the first of which the outer turning point where the spring is at its least compressed, and then another at the inner turning point where the hairspring is at its most compressed. The difference between these two positions represents the total angle through which the balance turns between the two turning points, which in this case is 226 degrees plus 360 degrees. That calculation gives us a total rotational angle of 586 degrees and so the balance amplitude is calculated simply by taking that number and dividing by 2, which in this case gives us a value of 293 degrees. We then go back to the time grapher and gradually increase the lift angle until the displayed amplitude on the time grapher is the same as the measured amplitude. In this case we can see that we achieve an amplitude of 293 degrees by setting the lift angle of the time grapher to 58 degrees.